How's it going fellas? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about how to fix your car for free. Well, at least on the lower levels you can fix your car for free. And how to upgrade your car. You can add, let's say you can add flamethrower, you can add a mine uh, layer, you can add a battering ram, electricity to your car. You can do a lot of cool stuff. So let's go and do that real quick. So first things first, let's see how to fix our car for free. All right. So I'm going to go to the map just to show you guys where this is located. I know a lot of you guys are already past this point and uh, some of you guys already know about this trick. But uh, Bilal will basically be your quartermaster and he'll return a lot of like lost items quote unquote. Like he, I guess he scavenges them. He never actually gets outside of his house. But uh, they pretend that he scavenges these parts. So you get a bow you get a sickle and you get all these brake parts and all these like replacements for your car and uh, I know you guys are already thinking oh okay I already knew about that but how's this gonna fix my car for free well and you also get toxic bolts for free that's just putting that out there you get these screws for five dollars I mean not you get these you get five screws each time you get to him and you just pick up your screws right and Whenever you get your screws, each time you repair your car, it takes uh, about like two screws and then maybe up to four or eight screws every time you try to fix a certain part of your car. And uh, after you get the screws, you just fix up your car. And then if you want more screws, you just click, you go over here and click uh, wait until night and then wait until the daytime and the quartermaster will be restocked. So you can, and that's, uh, that's actually the final mission that I just uh, loaded up, so... That's what you heard in the background. Um, so yeah, every time you wake up, the quartermaster will be restocked with more screws. So you don't have to go to this guy. He like basically rips you off. You go down here, he's got like lubricants and steel tubing and stuff like that. Some of these you can already just get from the quartermaster. And uh, he also sells the screws. They're $40 each. That's quite pricey. Like I don't know who sells. It's Apocalypse and he's selling screws for $40 guy's insane but um yeah here's our ride and as you can see there's a new paint job on it so in order to upgrade your car uh some people for those who are new to this they don't know yet so you just hold square and that upgrades your car it upgrades or repairs so as you can see on the bottom left corner you can repair all by clicking triangle or y on the xbox and uh it says that I can't repair yet because I'm missing one screw. So we go over here, but what as you can see, whenever you have like a little red icon next to your part, that means that your part is broken. So right here, I'm just going to click uh, square for repair. And you can click square to repair an individual part, but you just can't repair too many parts at the same time. And uh, also, uh, in this situation, up there where it says condition on the right side, my engine part is completely, my turbo part is completely totaled, so this is unusable. So uh, if you could repair it, you just click square, but since I can't, I have to move it out. So I'm just going to click X to select, and then choose a different part. And before you go and you go down to your blueprints, you have to check your backpack, because some of your, some of your engine parts and turbo parts and all those other parts are already given by a quartermaster. So you stack up in your backpack. And you can just click one of these. And uh, in this case, I don't want to click any of these. I actually want to make a new uh, part. I want to upgrade my car. And I just got to the turbo level, level 4. So I'm just going to get that. And it automatically makes it for me. And uh, all the conditions, as you can see, they're all in relatively good condition. So that's good. So that's how you upgrade your part. So uh, you also notice that over here there's something called equipment. And these things right here are different types of equipment that you can put on your car. You can put electrical cage, you can put a flamethrower, you can put all sorts of stuff. And then down here you can put battering ram, you can make your cage stronger, you can make your tires better, and then fuel upgrade and stuff like that. And where you go to get these is you just go to your menu and this is basic stuff. I know you guys already know this, but I'm just going to refresh. So uh, you just go to driver, and then you can select all the different types of upgrades. And the my favorite thing to do is to just go down the list, 
And uh, I mean, I got some of these extra stuff, but I'm not going to get like a flamethrower, for example, before I get the different uh, level, mechanic level parts, because I want my parts to be as good as possible. And then also you want to get stuff, you don't want to get like the extra, you don't want to get anything that's like miscellaneous, that's something that you don't really need every day. You don't need a mine dispenser, for example, because there's not that many parts where there's going to be like things chasing you. I mean, there are going to be barrels chasing you. But what I use for that instead is I just use the electric cage and that fires up electricity all around my car. And that's what I find the most useful. And obviously I put RAM because I want to RAM right into these uh, virals. And uh, my dispenser, another reason why I don't use it is that it doesn't just keep regenerating. Over here, the electric cage keeps regenerating all the time. It regenerates every couple seconds. But the mines, you actually have to keep making mines and keep buying mines. And that's like ridiculous because, I mean, how much money, is, you already, it's a survival game and you're already running short on money. So you don't want to, you know, have to resort to doing that all the time. Uh, I'm just going to go to the other upgrades. So we have nitrous and then we have the, the upgrade for that. And then on this side we have car alarm and uh, remote control. So this is actually cool because you you can actually upgrade, you can actually activate upgrades from outside your buggy. So you can basically use your buggy as a turret. That's really cool. I, I didn't even see that before. And then car alarm, obviously, it kind of makes your car into a, like a car bomb kind of. You It doesn't explode your car, but all the zombies will go towards it. And then when they surround it, you can just go in and start throwing stuff at the zombies. Mind dispenser already went over that. Uh, that's after you already upgraded everything and you just want to mess around you want to kill zombies huge things chasing you you just throw throw down mines that'll be really good uh, reinforced cage reinforced cage these are important I didn't get these yet because I just wanted to get the upgrades but uh, if you don't notice yet your buggy will get damaged super super quickly so I just I would I would try to upgrade these next after the ones I already have so going down the list is just a mechanic level of parts. This is uh, it levels up your certain parts. Like let's say you have an aftermarket uh, aftermarket engine or something, and then after you keep increasing the what they call the mechanic level, then you get like a, a real engine, and then maybe an engine straight from the manufacturer or something like that. I mean they they're probably straight from the manufacturer, but whatever. I'm just saying I'm cars are not my territory. So, <laughs> but my dad was a mechanic, so it's kind of weird. Um, Ramming bar, I I love this because sometimes the zombies just get on my nerves. I just want to ram right through them. And when you're going forward, I mean, you don't need to do anything in, behind the car, but you're always going to be going forward, so you need a good ram. This is reinforced, and it just means that basically you're just going to destroy zombies when you're going through them. And you can actually ram some of the bigger zombies. You can't ram the gigantic, gigantic zombies. I believe they it's really hard to kill them, but... You can ram like a regular demolisher or a, or a hammer zombie. And I killed one just with a regular ramming bar. It took forever. But uh, UV headlights, this is for driving at night. I mean, you could use UV and you can get rid of those pesky, uh, what's their face, volatiles. And I don't want to spoil it, but volatiles get, volatiles get pretty crazy throughout the story. You'll see why. And you have UV safe zone. And this is basically you're using your car as a safe zone. You turn on your UV and you stand on top of your car and you just chill. You're like, what's up guys? Y'all trying to get me? You just like start shooting them with a gun. And you can't shoot the you can't shoot the virals, they're always gonna get on you. But the volatiles, I mean they go they don't stand a chance. Um, okay, so down here, off road suspension obviously just increases your suspension. This is important um, later on after you're done upgrading the other stuff. It's important because after you make these gigantic jumps your car for whatever reason even though it's an off-road buggy it like gets damaged super quickly which is unrealistic but it's a survival game so you got kids who are like oh, I want to make it realistic so you know uh, they have to cater to those guys so <laughs> you got handyman this is uh it just means that you won't need any screws you like screw the screws that was a terrible terrible joke uh, fuel efficiency makes you have better fuel, better fuel efficiency, obviously. Uh, electric cage, this is awesome because your entire around the car, like front, back, and the sides, will all get electrocuted. I'd usually use this when I'm in the middle 
when I'm going really fast, I'm right in the middle of a huge swarm of zombies because it affects all the zombies. It's really good. Uh, I don't know if it increases your stamina or your power abilities, but I believe it does. Uh, your survival, I mean. It's just survival and agility, not stamina and survival. But, uh... Flamethrower, I'm gonna. I really, really, really looking forward to this because I really want to light zombies on fire. And then, obviously, this is just to upgrade your rank and have better parts. Uh, all these, I don't know if the experimental, the experimental parts are better because I'll just show you what that is. If you scroll down in your blueprints and you've already completed all the the Tolga missions, the twin missions you'll see your experimental parts and as you can see here it adds to your braking and your condition of your of your vehicle and uh... from what I, yeah it's actually better than the the purple it's actually better than the legendary so this is kind of experimental this is kind of developer shit you know what i mean like this is the developers put this in the game and uh... it's basically going one step above the regular stuff that's already in the game so these are really good i would get these next they require a lot of stuff though, but they are a lot better than whatever you have, whatever level 4 equipment you have. And I'm just assuming they're better than level 5. That's I'm just putting it out there. So yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And as you can see, I do have a different paint job. And uh, let me see. Yeah, if you go to customize, you can just see all the different paint jobs. I found this while fighting a giant monster and these kids were trying to kill me by using the monster. And I couldn't find the kids, I was so mad. <laughs> Uh, Blue Gentleman, I believe I got this in somebody's house. Cultist, I forgot. One of these, I swear to God, I jumped to the bottom of a well that, w that had a dead body inside it cause I, because uh, the game froze on me. I mean, the game glitched on me. I couldn't finish the mission, so I jumped to the bottom of the well because I thought that's how you finish the mission, and I found the paint job instead. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys have any other questions about upgrading cars, please let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, and also, if you don't really like the following and somehow you got to the end of this video, watch the ending for the following. It is insane. I'm not going to tell you anything, but I picked evil ending. So <laughs> I'm really dumb. I picked evil ending. It's really short, but it's crazy. And um, le let me know what you guys think about that because I thought it was insane. All right, guys.